Smart Office Collaboration is GenBand's solution to provide an integrated video conferencing and collaboration solution for the 21st century office. Each user gets a personalized conference room that allows them to exchange voice, video, chat, and screen or application sharing with their colleagues inside and outside the organization. There are two ways to start a collaboration session. First, it is possible to share the collaboration link with all the participants, both internal and external. For example, in an email or a meeting invite. If the user has the latest GenCon for Windows client, it is also possible to initiate a collaboration session directly from the client. Select the participants from the contact list and click the button to start collaboration. Users log in as guests and provide their name so it can be shown in the list of participants. The room owner or moderator uses the moderator tab to log in with the username and password. Once logged into a smart office collaboration, the system presents users with three microphone and camera options. It is easy to join muted with the camera disabled to minimize disruptions to an active conversation. The collaboration room has four main areas. The top bar shows the room's name as well as some controls, for example to go into full screen mode. The main menu includes the participants list with additional controls for the room's moderator, the sharing panel, options to adjust the grid layout, and the settings panel. The content area is where video participants or a screen share appears. And the toolbar includes buttons to mute the microphone, enable and disable the camera, activate the self-view, or open the chat panel. The participants list shows a summary of all the users that have joined the conference room. There's a small circle that summarizes the number of participants. For the average participant, this is just a list of names. However, for the moderator, every name includes icons to mute the line and disable the camera. No more conference calls with the dog barking in the background. The moderator can also click on the tools icon to expand the moderator menu. Here, they can mute the entire conference or disable everyone's camera. The moderator can maintain complete control over this function or give participants the option to unmute themselves or re-enable their camera. The sharing panel provides two functions. At the top, it allows a participant to select which shared media is displayed on the screen. At the bottom, it allows a participant to share any screen or an individual application. Multiple participants can share content simultaneously, and each participant uses the controls at the top to select what's viewed on their own screen. The content appears embedded within the content area. However, it is possible to extract it to a separate window by double-clicking on the content. To bring it back to the main screen, the user only has to close this new window. The Grid Layout button allows each participant to adjust how participants, active speakers, and shared content is organized on their screen. If they prefer, they can choose to emphasize the active speaker or the content or make all of the content equal size. Finally, the Settings tab allows the participants to select their preferred camera, speaker, and microphone. The toolbar at the bottom of the content area allows participants to mute and unmute the microphone as well as the conference audio. They can also enable or disable the camera, enable or disable self-view, as well as open or close the chat panel. In the lower right corner, there is a hang-up button to exit the collaboration session. The chat panel serves two functions. First, as a chat tool that allows participants to share ideas, web links, and other text pieces. And second, as a log with timestamps that shows participants entering and leaving the room. The top bar provides participants with a button to place the collaboration room into full screen mode. A help icon is also provided in the same location. The moderator, however, gets two additional controls. One to lock the collaboration room so that no new participants can join, and the second one to terminate the collaboration session for all of the participants. Smart Office Collaboration uses Scalable Video Codec Technology, or SVC for short. This tool optimizes video quality for each user based on their available bandwidth. This ensures that each of the users gets the best quality of experience possible given their circumstances. Smart Office automatically features the active speaker in the center box and keeps up to seven of the most recent speakers in smaller boxes. Participants can also join the collaboration from their Android or iOS tablet while on the road and they can also connect through an iPhone or an Android smartphone. With Smart Office Collaboration, professionals can now collaborate from anywhere in the world in real time. There's no complex setup, just an internet connection and a web browser. 
and it works on Windows and Mac OS. Smart Office collaboration can be used to enhance the productivity of meetings, provide online training, customer webinars, or any other activity that can benefit from real-time video and content sharing. Genband. Real-time communications without boundaries.